Welcome back guys to Learning by Teaching. We're in aesthetics and we're gonna do problem 293, okay? It says if the force of B is equal to 560 newtons and the force C is equal to 700 newtons, determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting on the flag pole. So we got this pole and at point A we got two forces, force B and force C. And these forces um, they're, they're giving us the direction by pointing what the point B is and the point C is and they're giving us oh how much to the X, how much to, to the Y, Z, blah blah blah, okay? So in order to solve this problem what we're gonna do is that we're gonna first define where is that point A located, where is B located, where is C located and having these points we can do some uh, direction vectors that we're gonna find and these direction vectors are gonna tell us that oh what is the direction of, of these forces and with the direction we can use a unit we can find a unit vector and with this unit vector we can decompose our forces okay so basically let's just start by defining point A point B and point C so if we start with point A point A is defined it's in its x direction has nothing because it's at the origin so it's zero in the x it's also zero in the y because it's at that origin but in the z it's up for by six meters okay i forgot to put that six over here so by six and these guys are meters okay now let's do for point B. For point B, in the x direction, on this side, it has 2 meters. So it has a positive 2. For the y, it has a negative 3 because it's going to the left by 3 meters. So we got negative 3. And uh, its z value is 0 because it's exactly laying in the x, y plane. y x plane. So we got 0 meters in the z. Now we go to point C, uh, we can say that in the x direction, so this way, we have 3 meters, so we have 3, in the y we got a positive 2, and we also have 0 altitude or like in the z direction, so we got 0, okay? Now, with these guys, I can find a vector that goes from A all the way to B. So if I want a vector that goes from A all the way to B, like this, what I do is that what we're going to do is that we're going to do B minus A. What do I mean by B minus A? Well, so let's start by this. B is 2 in the x direction minus A, which is 0 in the x direction. So in the i direction. Plus now uh same again but we're gonna do it with the y and c components so if we start with b minus a so it's b minus three negative three minus a which is zero in the j direction now where we just need to do the k direction the z direction so we got b which is zero minus the a which is six and this is in our k direction. All these guys are in meters. So if we clean this guy a little bit up, we're going to find that we have two in the i direction, we got negative three in the j direction, and we got negative six in the k direction. And this is our vector AB for the chord AB, going from A all the way to B. Now, we need to find the unit vector so we can decompose force B. So if, if we want to find the unit vector, we need to find the magnitude of the vector AB. So, how do we find the magnitude? Well, we will apply Pythagorean theorem. So we have 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus negative 6 squared. And this will give me a total of 7 meters, okay? Just, uh, if you guys saw my last video, we know that a unit vector for, of a force is equal to, so we 
we drew out the force in the i, j, and k components divided by the magnitude of that force or that vector in this case where we're dealing about a vector but it works the same way so the unit vector for a, b is going to be equal to 2 divided by 7 in the i direction negative 3 divided by 7 in the j direction and negative 6 divided by 7 in the k direction okay now since we have the unit vector we can start decomposing the force f of b because the a force the force f of b is going to be equal to its magnitude which is given by 560 newtons multiplied by the unit vector so unit vector a b okay so if we do this let's write it a little bit over here so if we do this f of b is going to be equal to we use our calculator and we're going to multiply 560 by each one of these unit vectors so we got 560 multiplied by 2 over 7 which gives me 160 so we get 160 in the i direction minus 560 oops 560 multiplied by 3 over 7 which gives me 240 in the j direction minus 560 multiplied by 6 over 7 which will give me 480 in the k direction okay and what are the units well the units for this guy it's newton why because the magnitude was given by newtons okay so we decompose force b now we need to decompose force c so we can add them up and find the resultant so i'm gonna make myself a little bit of space over here uh we don't need a b anymore but we need the points so we're fine like that okay so the force c it has a direction from all the way from a to c okay so we need to find the vector that goes from A all the way to C and we do the same how do we do this? so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do C minus A so it's the second one minus the first one so let's start C minus A so it's 3 minus 0 for the I direction okay now we need to do Y and C so we do 2 minus zero so we get two minus zero in the j direction and we do zero minus six in the k direction okay and the units for all these guys are meters because we're talking right now about the chord now after this uh we can clean this guy a little bit up i almost forgot so we find that the vector AC is going to be equal to 3 in the i direction plus 2 in the j direction and negative 6 in the k direction okay now after this if we want to find our unit vector we also need to find the magnitude so let's find the magnitude of AC of vector AC and this guy is going to be, uh, if we apply by Pythagorean theorem, we will find 3 squared plus 2 squared, my, um, not minus, plus 6, negative 6, x squared. And it's the same, which is 7 meters. It was just a causality that in this case, it was the same magnitude as AB. That AC had the same magnitude as AB, but it doesn't happen always. Actually, it almost never. So, after that, we can find the unit vector AC, which is going to be 
3 divided by 7 in the i direction plus 2 over 7 in the j direction minus 6 over 7 in the k direction okay so after having the unit vector we can find our four we can decompose our force c how can we decompose this this guy well with our unit vector so we multiply the magnitude which is 700 multiplied by the unit vector a c okay so the force c is going to be 700 so we multiply 700 multiplied by 3 over 7 which is going to be 300 in the i direction 2 over 7 multiplied by 700 will give me 200 in the j direction and the last one will give me 600 in the k direction and all these guys are in newtons okay so we decompose force B and force C. So what we can do is find our resultant. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a space over here. So I don't need this anymore. And all I need is our forces that are decomposed into its X, Y, and C components. So C U. Okay. Good. Now, having my two forces, my resultant force, so my force resultant is going to be equal to F of B plus F of C. So F resultant is going to be, so if we add up the I components, so let's add, add the I components, 160 plus 300, so we're going to get 460 in the I component. We get negative 240 plus 200 will give me negative 40 in the J component. And if we got negative 480 and negative 600, we're gonna get negative 1080 in our K component. And all these guys are Newtons. Okay, they want us to find the magnitude, so we're not done yet. Okay, so if we, want the, if we want to find the magnitude, here we go again, we apply Pythagorean theorem, we go for 60 squared plus negative 40 squared plus negative 1080 squared, all in the square root, and let's see what we get. So we get for 60 squared plus 40 squared plus 1080 squared, this give, gives a total of 1175 newtons, okay? So that's the magnitude. It, it also asks us for the direction angle. So if you remember from the last, from previous videos, if we want to find the angle, for example, in this case, alpha, which is going to be the angle with respect to the x-axis is going to be the inverse cosine of the value of the x, the x value, which is 460, positive 460, divided by its magnitude, so 1,175. 1, and if we do this with the calculator, we do inverse cosine of 460 divided by 1,175, we get that is going to be 67 degrees. So same for beta, but instead of 460, we're gonna use negative 40. So if we do that, we get that beta is going to be in a, is going to be equal to 91 point. No, let's just keep it as a 92 degrees. And gamma, which is with respect to the z-axis. So we use our z value. So we do inverse cosine of negative 1080 divided by 1175, and we get that this is 157 degrees. Okay, so we found the magnitude of the resultant, and we found 
the direction angles coordinate direction angles so this guy is for the x this guy is for the y and this guy is for the z thank you guys for watching if you guys have any comments or any suggestions you have any questions about the problem please let me know and i will be um see you guys see you guys in the next video thank you